What is going on everybody? Welcome back. I had some extra time today, so I figured I would record a quick little tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how I build my stoplights because this is probably the coolest design I think I've ever come up with. It's not very original. I didn't come up with this. I saw it somewhere, but I'm going to show you guys how to make them because they're really cool. So let's get right into it. So back in the city with no shaders because I prefer to build without shaders. You can really kind of see how I build them and I'm going to show you guys an example of how I build them for a small intersection in kind of like a city center type situation and but I'm also going to show you how to build a really long one um, for like suburban areas if you have like these really wide intersections uh, you're going to need more stoplights and more a longer arm for it uh, so I'm going to show you how to build one of those as well. Now keep in mind I am using the Greenfield Texture Pack. Um, you can use these designs in default or any other texture pack that you want. Um, however you will have to make a few changes but I will show you how um, to make it with default. But I am using Greenfield Texture Pack so I have these really cool uh, candle textures that look awesome. But I am going to use andesite wall and yes it is andesite stairs, slabs, um, cherry trap doors and these are cyan candles. Um, I'm grabbing it from a street light because they're the same blocks used over here. So these are player heads. Uh, there's many ways to get these. You can do it with command blocks or you can get head database. Um, really cool. I recommend checking them out. I have these right now currently just loaded in my inventory. Um, I just used the command blocks. I didn't feel like paying for head database but you can pay for head database and have it all heads at your fingertips basically and it's really cool onward with the tutorial we are gonna come over here oh, and I'm also gonna grab some glowstone so usually at my street corner I usually like going right here at the corner because uh usually a crosswalk would be here uh, place a block of glowstone so that way it looks like we have our street light is actually turned on and we're just gonna come up I don't know a, a number of blocks we're gonna count it out later and I am actually gonna grab one of those heads I'm gonna grab the stop the crosswalk and we're gonna place that one two three on the fourth block and since this is a corner there would theoretically be another crosswalk there we're gonna place two of them and then we're gonna come up another three blocks and on the fourth block we're gonna break the wall so one two three break that one and we're gonna switch to our andesite slabs or whatever slab that you are using and we're gonna place a full block there like that but actually we will be building this for for these cars so our signal arm holder the thing that holds the arm or holds the signal I'm gonna call it the arm would uh, be have to come out this way for these cars because if you're driving this way the signal is always on the right so we're gonna come out one two and then on that second one put another slab and then come out two more, come up, and then just come out as far as you need. Uh, depending on how wide you make your lane. Some people do five, I do three. Um, so that would, but that is like the curvature right there. And then, yeah, you would just like keep going um, if you needed to, to be longer. Um, you could also tweak the design a little bit. I've seen people, I've even liked doing it like this put like a stair and I don't know you can kinda rework the curve to be however you want it to be you know you know you could rework it to something like that that's that's pretty cool honestly that's a vibe but the way I do it in my city is I usually one two three I build it like that that's that's my formula for building it here in the city of Matador and then for actually putting our signals in, I always want to center them with the lane. So it would be on this block, fly, and then just fly up, and it's going to be on that block. And I usually try to have the arm go through the middle of the light. And then I believe it's just a three block gap. So one, two, three on this block is our second signal head and then I usually like to have it stick out a little bit more so it looks like it's supported it's not hanging on the edge and then we can grab our signal head so I'm gonna grab maybe it's a red light and then the rest of them will be turned off and then maybe our 
left turn lane is also a red light. So I'm going to show you in a red light situation. So just kind of, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. So that is what the stoplight would look like if um, all the lights were red. Let's say we wanted it to be green. We could grab the, the green on light and the red off light and, you know, just switch a Rooney like that there boom now the light is green but yeah the only downfall to heads is uh, if you back away far enough keep your eye on the on the signals if you get far enough away they disappear uh, it's something to do with your simulation distance I have mine turned all the way up and still they you don't have to get very far for them to disappear that is the only downfall other than that they are super sick and way more detailed than honestly anything and these the only thing they might be a little too big on the scaling like I wish we could squeeze three of these into two blocks but it it works I also forgot to show you how to do the uh, the light on top so you come up another four so one two three four and then on this one you place a wall like that and then I believe it's just a trap door like so and then another one you might have to shift click and then this is where it gets a little different in greenfield pack if you're in default you could just throw a uh, glowstone there and debug that and you know you could have a something something like that it's not not a horrible look but using the greenfield pack we can do something a little bit better I'll take cyan candles and I'm gonna place four of them so that way when I light it up it's as bright as it can possibly be and I feel like that is a way cleaner look I use that for all of my street lights and yeah I feel like that's just way cleaner so that's how I do that and then I also might um, throw in some green wool usually down here for uh, like a street sign so let's say this if had a street name I could put that there and then we can also take a debug stick and make uh, these walls connect to the signal so it doesn't look like they're floating. And just kind of fix everything up and that right there is pretty much how I build all of my traffic signals. So I'm just going to show you again real quick over here on the really big intersection. Um, I'm going to come up pretty tall with my with my walls, I'm going to place one, two, three, signal heads, one, two, three, boom. All right, here we go. Retry. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to build it this way. And yeah, so that's the center block for that. So we'll have it end right there. So something like that. So theoretically, let's pretend that this would be on the other side of this road. So pretend that this is way further back because if you were up the first car in line, you'd have to be looking straight up at it. So pretend that this is over there. And we're just going to come to the middle of all of our lanes. Boop, boop, boop. And then I believe it's three, one, two, three, boop. Only go over three if you have three wide lanes. Let's say you had five lane wide wide lanes. Um, you would put a like right there. But we have three wide lanes here, so oop, one more block, and we'll go something like that. So I have it is not uncommon uh, in the suburbs to have four traffic signals on one pole like this, because usually these ones are your through lanes or we're gonna make them have the green light because that's usually how it goes and then usually the left turn lane has to wait so something like that and then even if you wanted to you could uh, have a right arrow on only this rightmost light put a little arrow indicating that people can also turn right and then for the light on top of this one you can get a little creative so one two three four uh, because this is such a longer arm it would look a little weird if we put the short light on it like we did over there 
So usually what I'll do is I'll just copy the same design that I use, or I made that one block too tall, copy the same design that I use uh, for my street lights over there. So this is kind of hard because you have to shift click two trap doors in a row. And then again if you're using default you can just put a either like a sea lantern or a block of glowstone or whatever you feel. But in Greenfield we're going to use the candle and boom just like that and you can even add your uh, you could add your road sign right here or you could add it up here however you feel I usually add it right here and then we can debug stick all of this so it connects up nicely and that is how I would build my giant signal poles for like a suburban area they're pretty big they're very long and sometimes they can these things can stretch up to like 75 80 feet in some places it's it's crazy how big these poles can get but for small little downtown centers and small like residential streets these ones will work fine and even let's say you didn't have a left turn lane you could even make these smaller you can shrink them down to, to this there's many configurations you can get rid of the street sign input you know maybe there's a right turn signal here like that you know you, you can get crazy with where you put the traffic signals um, yeah the world is your oyster <laughs> if you enjoyed this video be sure to smack that like button and if you really really enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button hopefully this was helpful and helps you build better stoplights catch you guys in the next one bye